everybody, welcome back to the Evermore YouTube channel. It's Chris back with my thoughts through rant of the day. Bit of a rant this one and a bit of a thought also in the in the mixer. Manchester City have done it. They've won the Champions League. They've achieved a treble, history-making treble. Congratulations to Pep Guardiola and all of the players. And they've obviously repeated the feat of their neighbours on the other side of Manchester. Probably why this salt has begun to pour from certain Manchester United podcasters who look and sound like David Brent. Yes, I've seen a couple of things pop up already, not just there, Liverpool fans as well obviously talking about football dying this is a disgrace and you know FIFA and UEFA have let this happen and all this other shit right so let me just get this out here on record so Manchester City since Pep Guardiola have taken over have spent a net of about 667 million euro that's versus Manchester United's 902 million euro that's right Manchester United have spent nearly 300 million euro more than Manchester City have on transfers net so get that in your fucking head right before you start talking about them buying the Champions League what really annoys these fans and these podcasters and YouTubers of these elite clubs that are pissed off that they're no longer at the top of the table somebody has leapfrogged them and especially somebody who they used to ridicule for years and years and years in the shape of Manchester City when they were playing Gillingham away when the GOAT was scoring goals to get them promoted from League One to the Championship. Manchester City have been in the shit. Manchester City have been in the doldrums of football for generations of supporters. They were bought by Sheikh Mansur, they were transformed and they are now a gigantic European force. They're the European champions. They've been on a journey of progress. They've been on a journey of evolution they've brought in better players every single stage of the way starting with the you know the Gareth Barrys and the Craig Bellamy's moving up into the Yaya Torres and the Agueros now moving up to the Erling Haaland's they have evolved as a football club but what really scares the shit out of these Manchester United fans Liverpool fans more than anything is that they see this can be done Chelsea went to do it as well when Abramovich came in he transformed them they were they were kind of mid-table top seven punters before he came in and transformed them in the one title after title, the one Champions League, they had Mourinho, they had Drogba, everybody, right? So this can be done. And what Manchester United and Liverpool and teams like that who have got heritage, no doubt about it, historically for years they have been the two biggest successful clubs in English football, it can be changed and it can be different. A club can be bought and a club can be invested in, a club can go from being the joke of the party, they also ran to the top fucking dog. And that's what Manchester City have done. And what scares the shit out of these lot the most about Newcastle United right now is that we are on a similar path. So we have been purchased by a major conglomerate with bags of money. But the difference between us and Manchester City is these financial restraints have been put in place to stop a Manchester City or a Chelsea happening again, mainly because these elitist clubs have gone crying to the fucking corrupt board of football and government who put this thing in place to stop it happening again but they can't stop Manchester City that that ship has passed that horse has fucking bolted they are one of the best teams in world football with some of the best players in world football and arguably one of the best managers of all time now City's success will depend on whether he hangs around sticks around he, he does have form for doing this maybe he feels he's won everything there is to win and he moves on he takes a break or whatever but at the moment, Manchester City are enjoying playing world-class football with world-class players, with a world-class manager. I watched them win it. It was a great result for them. You know, they've been there before and they've not quite done it. So they've done it now and they can say that, that you know, the European champions, they're a massive club right at the top of the world football. You know, they go up against all these other big clubs. You know, Manchester United won loads of Champions League. Liverpool have won, what, five or six? Some of that, Real Madrid have won like 10 you know, so they're a long way away from that. But give them the moment. Let them celebrate. The players are crying on the pitch. Grealish is crying because it's a monumental achievement. From a kid who was in the championship a couple of years ago to winning the Champions League, it's a monumental achievement. Rodri crying. Rodri, you know, comes through probably the lower leagues of La Liga. And then he's got to Manchester City and become a much better player for it. Edison was playing in the Brazilian League. Look at him now. Of course they're crying because they've achieved something. It's the it's the a pinnacle of their journey as a footballer. It's emotional. Give them their moment. Let them get emotional about it. Show a bit more class instead of acting like a petty, sad little twat. I nearly said the scene bomb there. I'm not going to do that as PK does that. But it's pathetic. Let these players enjoy it. Let Guardiola enjoy it. They're the team to beat. Raise your own standards. Try and beat them. Try and beat them in their own game. 
You know, you went and blew 90 million quid on a fucking Instagram player and Paul Pogba who's utter dog shit. You know, that's you not investing your money carefully as a football club. Don't take it on them because they signed Erling Holland for 60 million quid or whatever it is. I mean, fuck me sideways. You know, you've got a long way to go before you can catch this football club. We all want to catch them. They're the team that we're all looking at to catch. So focus on your own club instead of moaning about a club that's achieved something. You know, and go and make some smart transfers. There's players to be had this summer. If I was Manchester United, I'd be trying to get two or three key players players to build my squad into a title winning team maybe they're not a million miles away from it they probably are only about four or five players away but rather than pissing and moaning about a team who's been successful just focus on your own side but in terms of Newcastle United City are certainly something to look at and certainly something to to strive to be I suppose in terms of that success you know when when they were purchased you know they were mid-table also ran team and then look at them now you know they're the top of the tree so if Newcastle United can get there in the next 10 or 15 years I'm all fucking for it let us know what you guys think in the comments below congratulations to City as I say there'll be no salt from me no salt from a lot of Newcastle fans I'm pretty sure or the rest of the league it's only two or three sad jealous bastard fan bases that are going to do it so that's me done if this is the kind of rant you like click subscribe come and join us we've got loads of content over the summer most of Newcastle United obviously but little rants like this that maybe goes and transcends Newcastle and gets into the world of football in general so like the video help the channel grow we're at 3,800 subs dying to get to 4k before the season starts bash a button get us in there and uh, we'll catch you later cheers guys bye